Lily Bay State Park, on the eastern shore of Maine's Moosehead Lake, is one of those special places that hasn't changed much over the years. The 925-acre park has maintained the same back-to-basics charm since my first visit there in the 1970s. So, I gotta say, man, this place hasn't really changed <laughs> since I was a kid. We haven't changed at all. We're still at 93 sites uh, in the campground, and we don't have any hookups. It's 50-50, I'd say, campers and tent sites here. So we're sort of keeping it old school, which I think a lot of people appreciate. Now, a site like this, you know, you're right on the water, you have the cove. So there's a lot to do here on that front, a wide variety of hiking trails nearby as well. Mm -hmm. um, and I think the big, the big give on this one is that you have such great water access on a lot of these sites, especially in Rowell. Yeah. And people love that because, you know, they can bring their kayaks and canoes and they can kind of mix it up throughout the day and what, whatever they want to do. And I mean, it's Moosehead, biggest lake in the state of Maine, right? Yep. We've really kept it um, the way it's been for many, many years. And I think in some way that's very special mm -hmm. because a lot of other campgrounds are changing to kind of meet with the times and the different needs and try and attract new guests. And I think um, it's special that Lily Bay is sort of catering to that, that old school mentality yeah. and keeping it real in that sense. Well, that's what I like. There's a trailer service area if you have a camper okay. so that you can pump water. We've got plenty of faucets throughout both campground loops. Bathroom facilities, we have plenty of vaults and then we also have a comfort station, mm -hmm. which we have passed on our way over to Rowell. Um, which has eight stalls with uh, flushable toilet, showers, that sort of thing, um, heated, and that's all part of your stay as well. Wow, you are a brave one. <laughs> I'll tell this you, is man. Incredible, huh? <laughs> all right, well, we're gonna have to leave. This is obviously your site, pal. So we're gonna get, we're gonna take off and go uh, check out another part of the campground. <laughs> I think he's coming with us. Uh, all right, hey, more the merrier. So Brian, how many slips do you have here in this dock system? Yeah, absolutely, 16 total. 16 total, yep. and so there's no extra additional charge if you pay for a site. And if you bring your boat, then you can keep it here free. Absolutely. Oh, that's such yeah. a, that's that's really convenient. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's a great um, addition that we offer for our guests, and it, it's something that I'm certainly very proud of. Yeah, and, sure. and the launch ramp's right down at the end there. Tom, this is our day use area. We provide a playground for the kids over there. We have a beach here with a gorgeous view, as you can see. Mm -hmm. uh, we have trailheads heading out that way along the coast. Right. This is a really popular spot for our campers. Um, and like you see, we've got grills and uh, picnic tables and running water as well mm -hmm. available for people to use if they want to. Um, typically, people that want to use the Dunn Slips are from the Dunn Campground, and then people that use the Rowell are from the Rowell Campground just because it's convenient. But this is sort of like, our epicenter of activity during the day for our campers when they're within the state park. And this is a beautiful park and it's very multifaceted and there's a lot of opportunities and a lot of space. Yeah, yeah. You know? It seemed like you had some uh, young fans over there that recognized you <laughs> earlier. But you're like their hero, right? Well, I, I mean, I, you just, thank you. <laughs> but you know, that's just like the, that, that's the best part of this, this position here is that we get to interact with the public. That's why we're here. Um, and we develop these friendships over time. And I know I speak for the rest of um, our department where this is sort of what we're focused and honed in on. You know, our mission is to basically create a space where people in state and out of state can come in, enjoy some of the most beautiful parts of Maine. And we try to present it in the best way possible. And we try to interact with the public as possible. And, and it just really works out. Thank you for watching. For more exclusive video content, including short films, episodes, and features, be sure to click the subscribe button and look for us on social media at Explore New England Films.